increase our financial IQ. Yeah. The rules of money have changed. In 1971, President Richard Nixon, Nixon took the United States off the gold standard. And this was one of poor economic policy that changed the rules of money. It was, uh, it was one of the biggest financial changes in the history of the world. And yet few people are aware of this change and its effect on the world economy today. One of the reasons so many people are struggling financially today is because of Nixon's a actions. In 1971, the US dollar died because it was no longer money. It became a currency. And there's a big difference between money and currency. The word currency comes from the word current, like an electronic or an ocean current, like an electrical or ocean current. So, the word means movement. Oh, in overly simple terms, currency needs to keep moving. If it stops moving, it will rapidly lose its value. If loss of value is too great, people stop accepting it. If people stop accepting it, the value of the currency plummets to zero. After 1971, the US dollar began moving to zero. Historically, all currencies go eventually go to zero. Throughout history, governments have printed currencies. During the Revolutionary War, the US government printed a currency known as Continental. It was not long before that currency went to zero. After World War One, the government the German government printed a currency in hopes of paying its bills. The inflation exploded and the German middle class had savings so though. In 1933, pressure and broke. The German people elected Adolf Hitler to power and hopes he would solve their financial problems. After World War I, and also in 1933, President Franklin Roosevelt created Social Security to solve the money problems of the American people. Although very popular, the Social Security and Medicare are financial disasters about to erupt into massive financial problems. If the U.S. government prints more funny money, i.e. currency, to solve these two financial problems, the value of the U.S. dollar will die faster and the financial problem will get bigger. It's not a future problem. It is happening now. According to a report by Bloomberg, the US dollar has lost 13.2% of its partnership since George W. Bush took office in January 2001. Nixon, Nixon's in 1971 to take the US dollar off the gold standard is one of the reasons why so many people are in debt, just as the US government is in debt. When the rules of money changed in 1971, Savers became losers and debtors became winners. <laughs> a new form of capitalism emerged. Today, when Robert hears people saying, You need to save more money or save retirement, Russell wonder, Robert wonders if the person realizes that the rules of money have changed. Under the old rules of capitalism, it was financially smart to save money, but in the new capitalism, it's financially it's financial insanity to save a currency. It, must be, it makes no sense to park your currency. In the new capitalism, a currency must keep moving. If a currency stops going, it becomes worse, less, and less. A currency, like an electrical current, must move from asset to asset as quickly as possible. A currency's purpose is to acquire assets, assets that either are appreciating in value or producing cash flow. A currency must move quickly to acquire real assets with real value, because the currency itself is rapidly declining in value. Prices of real, real assets such as gold, silver, housing, and stock inflate in prices because the value of currency is declining. The inherent value does not change. Only the amount of, law, of, only the amount of currency it takes to acquire them. Gresham's Law states, when bad money comes into circulation, good money goes into hiding. In 1971, in the United States began flooding the world with funny money, bad money. In new capitalism, it actually makes more sense to borrow today and pay back it with cheaper dollars tomorrow. The U.S. government does it. Why shouldn't we? The U.S. government is in debt. Why shouldn't we be in debt? When you cannot change the system, the only way to succeed is to manipulate it. And because of the 1971 change in money, housing prices have soared as the purchasing power of the dollar has plunged. 
stock markets rise because investors are seeking safe havens for their dollars. Well, economists, c- c- economics call this economists call this inflation. It's really devaluation. It makes homeowners feel more secure because their home value appears to go up. In reality, the purchasing power of the dollar goes down as the net worth of homeowners appears to go up. Higher home prices and lower wages, however, it's hard for young people to buy their first home. If young people do not recognize that there was money have changed, they, they will be far worse off than their parents as the currency to continue to devalue. So basically, your lesson is it's um, that in 1971, Richard Nixon took money, well, U.S. money, well, the U.S. currency off the gold standard, and that was basically like, so like if you had a dollar bill or something like that, then it would be like kind of like as precious as gold. But then he took it off that standard, so now it's declining because now it's a currency, and currencies have to keep moving, but it now it's not. Or it's just to fly anyways. But as kids, the book got a hug because my mom and dad. And it went in story works. My books by Ken News. So sorry. See you at link. Subscribe. Bye.